Hi guys. Well, I'm just finishing off a journal. It's a big one, as you can see. And I thought I would just quickly show you how I make the uh, pocket in the corner. So this is the front cover, inside front cover. And you may have seen in a few previous videos, I had a diagonal pocket. So I had a diagonal pocket there that I just slipped an envelope into like that. So I thought I would just show you what I used to make them. <laughs> now, usually I do this kind of last when the journal is practically finished. I still have a few things to pop into pockets, but other than that, I've just got to put a pocket on the front and back cover. So I thought I would put one of those um, pockets here. Now, um, I've forgotten your name, but the lady from Clemens Crafts, I'll put the link to uh, her channel down below. She's got an Etsy as well. Um, she saw in my previous video, video that I had made one and she called them, we didn't have a name for it, <laughs> so um, she called them pocket bands. So kind of like a belly band, but it's also a pocket. So we, we had a laugh and we said, okay, we will name them pocket bands from now on. <laughs> um, you may have some other name for them if you make them. Anyway, what I use... My little pocket bands are a bit of a clean up at the end of a project. So at the end of a journal, honestly, I have all these little scraps and off cuts that are sitting on my desk and I have been trying to use them up before I put scraps away. I've been making little um, sewn, <laughs> sewn papers and bits of fabric put as little you know tag or page uh, tag toppers or page tabs or wherever um and I've been making little tiny tags and just trying to use them so that I don't keep adding to my crap boxes but anyway my little pocket bands are usually just crap that's left on my desk from trimming off pages and bits of my journal and the base that I use <laughs> is usually just, if I don't have an off cut big enough, I just use um, a page out of a magazine. This magazine I've been using because the pages are really thick. So when you fold them over, they kind of end up like cardboard. So like this page, there's nothing on there that I would want. So I would use one of those. Some pages have nice pictures that I might make envelopes or, you know, tags out of. But um, for the most part, they're kind of unusable pages. Okay, so I had actually already folded one because I wasn't going to film it. And then I thought uh, I may as well just to give you another idea for another pocket for a journal. There's no way that I fold, no standard way that I fold them. I just fold them whichever way I want. And this one I want a bit thick because the cover is so big. So I've just kind of, I've ripped it out. I haven't trimmed the edge, as you can see. <laughs> I've just really, just rolled it over. Um, just to make, you know, it's quite thick. And then I'm going to glue stuff on top and sew it as well. So then, sorry, I've already drawn the lines because, yeah, I had already started to do it. Um, then decided to film. But I just line it up wherever I want the pocket. I hope you can see. Now, this is the envelope that I will be putting in this pocket. So I just make sure that it's big enough to sit nicely and... So I've lined my little pocket up there. So just this little corner will peep through. Holds it nice and, you know, it's not going to fall out when I turn my page. Okay. And then when I line it up where I want it, 
Now, in this case, I've already put my paper on the inside cover. Um, sometimes I may put this on first and fold it under and then put the paper on top. But it's a bit fiddly, so um, yeah, the past few times I haven't been bothering. I just put it on top. Okay, then I just line it up. I've lined it up with the edge of my lining paper. I've got this itty bitty ruler that my husband bought me. I've always wanted a tiny metal ruler. I don't know why, but it's so handy when you just, you know, put things down and rip a little piece of paper instead of pulling out my giant metal ruler all the time. Yeah, but I always wanted one. I, I don't know why, but it has come in handy. It's so cute. I just love it. I love little things. Anyway, then I line up my pocket wherever I want it, and then I just... um get my little ruler and I just draw a line there you can see I've drawn a line and then I line it up on this side with the edge of my paper draw another line and that'll be my back I always put this fold on top so um yeah nothing gets caught but I mean you can put it on the bottom I suppose if you want just make sure it faces the opposite way so if you just don't want things getting caught on it when you put it in and out. Um, because I'm not going to cover the bottom, of course. So I'm just going to leave it. Okay, let me move this big giant guy. Whoops. Yeah, I've... Um, I've got a whole pile of Atlas covers. You may remember oh, ages ago. I put some map paper packs in my Etsy. This is like probably two years ago. And I pulled a whole bunch of um, um, atlases and street directories and that apart. And, you know, the atlas covers are really big. And I've got a whole pile of them in the corner of my craft room. And I'm like, oh, I need to get rid of these. They're taking up space. So I've started uh, three big journals. And that's the first one. I covered them all in the same fabric, so <laughs> um, two, two will go back on my uh, work in progress shelf, and um, yeah, I'll do those some other time, and one of them I'm working on, so you will see two more journals with that same, same, same fabric later. Okay, then I just glue these down. Now, even though you'll cut off the ends, I just glue the whole thing because the little ends of these that I cut off, these little bits, <laughs> I will use those as little um, baby pockets on, on pages within a journal. You don't have to glue these, you know, great because I'm, I'm going to sew them. Okay, let me get rid of that. Okay, so that's my back. This is my front. And then, honestly, I just use whatever... Look, this is... I've got so much crap left over from this journal. I try and put as much of the page in, but, you know, sometimes, like this was the map that I used to line the cover. See, sometimes you can't help but have all these bits left over. Anyway, I just, <laughs> I just glue crap down. That's all I do. Just to cover it. Which side do I like better? Maybe this side. Yeah, it's a never-ending battle to use all the little scraps. I've tried to, like, just embrace the scraps, except that I've got a lot of little scraps and use them when I can, but... Um, 
that thing in me that just wants to use them up. I hate adding to my scrap box. That little scrapbook box that I showed you, <laughs> that's just one, like, tissue box. Um, yeah. It's just one. One of many. I have a bad habit as well of when I work in inside like in front of the TV or at the kitchen table um, you know, my husband's still working from home and sometimes he kicks me he works in my craft room um, and sometimes he kicks me out when I'm being too noisy when he's got a meeting it's like you can't work quietly because you know I'm constantly stopping to rip and sew and tear fabric and he says I'm too noisy Anyway, so sometimes I get get kicked out and sent to the house. Because my craft room, if you don't know, is it's in a dab double garage. So sometimes work at the house in the house or in front of the TV, and um, I end up with like little tubs of scraps all the time depending where I work I just whatever I'm working on I end up putting scraps into a little tub or um, a plastic sleeve and then I end up with all these separate little things of scraps ah the never-ending scraps I might put this little piece here Now, our junk mail hasn't recommenced since COVID. Um, you know, they stopped putting supermarket brochures and all that in the mailbox, which is good. But um, we still get, you know, things from the local council and stuff like that. So, good thing we're not getting a lot of junk mail. But um, what we do get, I've been trying to use. I'm just been using them as glue pages because... When I use book pages, I end up with so many glue book pages that then I have to find a use for. <laughs> so this way I can just glue on this junk mail and then I can throw it in the recycle bin and not feel guilty about it. Okay, I need a little strip in here. See, this little music paper won't even uh, make it onto my belly band, but it will be on the little pockets so my husband he's um in the office today oh this is a bit of um sewing pattern paper might put this other piece over there he's in the office today both grandkids are at school now. Little one started kindergarten this year. <laughs> Yay! So I have every day now from um, 9 to 3 all to myself. Except for the three days a week my husband works at home. Well, he alternates three days one week, two days the next, which is um, still a bit annoying that I can't have my craft room every single day. But it's better than nothing. Most days when he's working from my craft room, I just sit here quietly crafting away. He's always on the phone or video conferences drives me mad he works as a uh, strata property manager and um honestly i reckon i could get a job in the industry now because i know all the ins and outs of it 
it's so boring it does my head in sometimes i put music on um but then i have to pause it when whenever he gets a phone call or someone video calls him okay now maybe a little something up there that too boring These were sent to me, you know, those little strips off the side of um, that old printer paper. They were sent to me from Cell at the Purple Outhouse and I coffee dyed them all. They were white and <laughs> I just coffee dyed a whole, I, the whole bunch of them actually I coffee dyed. <laughs> they look so nice coffee dyed. See, who coffee dyes scraps like that? Look, sometimes I think it's only me, but I know it's not. I know other people do stuff like that. I coffee dye everything, almost. Sometimes I'm too lazy. Okay. So I just cover it up. See, that'll make a nice belly band as well. Oh, maybe I should use that for the back page. No, stay on target. I was going to put a belly band on the inside back cover. And then I was just going to cheat and try and use that. But stay on target. Okay. I'll make another one like this. Using the same magazine for a belly band on the back cover. But see, look, you can use up the little strips and, and all that. Anyway, then I just give it the chop. Because I've already done my line. Sorry, I'm too blind. I have to move it closer to me. With my little ruler. Oh gosh, my knife is so blunt. I need a new blade. Okay. Don't throw this little piece out. This can now be... A little um pockets imagine that's your journal you can put a little pocket like that or maybe like that and put a tiny little tag in it in fact this i'll probably put into that journal just to use it up okay shop the other side now, for some reason, even though I always line it up as perfect as I can, my little pocket is out a little bit. I don't know why. Whoops, I went off track there. Oh gosh, I need a new blade. Okay. See? And there's another little baby pocket, maybe that way. Okay, excuse me. Oops. Okay. I need to move that shelf so I'm not constantly reaching in front of the camera. Of course, I've got to ink it. See, only a tiny piece of that music paper made it on. Now, these... um. Those magazine pages, because they're really thick and matte, um, I also use them as bases for tags, like see all these little scraps. They're good to just, in fact, that's what I'll probably do with a lot of the scraps in the pile over there. I'll just glue them down and make some um, tags. Glue them onto those magazine pages. I don't like the edges to be white. Okay. This one I don't actually think I will sew because I, I think it looks quite cute just the way it is. Okay. Then where's my journal gone? Okay, oh, it's so big and heavy. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit under the 
camera. Okay. Then I'll just glue that down like that. What did we call them again? I forgot already. Pocket bands, was it? Okay. Usually I just use some PVA, but um, I'm just going to use some of this glue. It's acetone base, so it dries real dries really quick. Um, I try and use PVA where I can, just because it's it's just so much cheaper, and I I trust it more than any other glue. <laughs> when it's paper on paper, I, it's just so trustworthy. The acetone base glues are as well. This one's really good. Anything from um, Boils, they're really good. I like Boils and Helmer brands. Now... Sometimes I might go up the corner a little bit just to make sure it's held on properly. Oops, what am I doing? Dumb, dumb. I'm about to glue the other side down. Do you know how many times I do that with pockets? I'll make like a book page pocket. And then I want to, um, you know, just glue the three sides like that and leave the top of the pocket to make another pocket. And then I glue it down. I've done it in this channel, actually, so many times. It's like, stop doing that. Okay. And just glue that baby down. Where's my disgusting raggy? Look, I've, I've tried to give up baby wipes. I'm using little raggedies. Okay. Nice and easy. And when that dries, then that will go in there. I think they look really nice. Nice, easy, and a great way to use up some scraps. Okay, I won't put that in yet because it's not dry. And on the back, I will put maybe a belly band that way because I've got some big sheets of paper that I want to put in. Anyway, but you don't need to see me make that now. Okay. That's it. Pocket bands. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.